Daniel in Edmonton writes, I was wondering what your thoughts were on the future of DSD. <laughs> if you see it being more widely adopted or being easier to play around with as patents expire and more people are engaged with it as a genuine format. I was also wondering why DSD isn't used in movies to record things like speech and sound effects. If music sounds so much more lifelike and analog, wouldn't it also be the same for movies? Well, you, you might think so. I, I don't know that DSD has much of a future. Honestly, because people like us, PS Audio, Octave Records, Native DSD, Gus Skinnis. I mean, there's a small band of people who are diehard DSD fans because we hear how much better, how much more lifelike. I just, it, 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 I don't think I could give it up. And that's why we've invested hundreds of thousands of dollars, at least we have, and I know they have too, in buying state-of-the-art DSD equipment. But we're a very small subset, and audiophiles are bigger in general, but also very small. So I don't know that there is a huge future for DSD. And with respect to it in the movies, I got to tell you, just being part of Octave Records, what we go through with musicians to put together a great recording of a band that we spend a couple of weeks dealing with and their egos and their fears and their, I mean, you know, these are artists, right? These are artists and, and God love them because they've put out such beautiful stuff. But the getting there, whoo, sometimes it can be kind of nuts. And I can only imagine, I mean, we say sometimes, well, thank God we're not trying to make movies with actors and musicians. And, you know, I, I bet that's even more bananas. <laughs> Seriously. So I think it's like wrangling a herd of cats together and trying to get this all to work. I think in movies, you're going to want to use industry standard stuff that gets you pretty darn close. And, and I've noticed a trend in, in a lot of movies where it's, it's like what I hear on the radio. It's like what I hear in commercial recordings. Loud is better. It's like, oh, please. Some movies, ah, bless their hearts. They care about the quality of the film, the quality of the acting, the quality of the sound. Oh, yes. And, and those are rare indeed. So... Now, I don't think DSD has a huge future, except amongst people like us, like you. But for the general masses, I don't think people really care that much. As long as it sounds good, they're happy. We are a unique blend of folks. And thank you for caring about how things sound. Seriously, it matters a lot. I appreciate it. Thanks. Bye.